This video is made for adult collectors because giant robot hot dog dinosaur. Age of Extinction was when leader class really changed, and with Prime, whom I've looked at before, it's apparent, but he still had that leader class balk to him. Grimlock though? Bro, this man needs a sandwich. Also, I have a Patreon if you want to go support the channel further, links in the description down below. Leader Grimlock. Let, let, first actually, let's talk about the packaging because I want to bring a couple things up. First off, the box design is horrible, but nostalgic at the same time, so like, I like the horribleness, but the instructions? They go alt mode to robot mode, and the toy is packaged in robot mode, leading me to believe that the original thing was for the Age of Extinction toys to be packaged in their alt modes like the previous three films, but they changed it. Also though, it shows you the original deco for this toy. No chrome, and it's like not just the no chrome version, this actually shows you different paint application. The jaw isn't chromed, but it actually has silver stripes on it, the black on the crotch is gone, the saw on the shield is painted differently in the manual, and the dino head is more brown in the manual. Oh, and the head on the robot's a different deco. Let me know in the comments below which deco you prefer more, the one we got on the toy or the one in the instructions, because personally, I think the toy one works a lot better because it's less boring. Grimlock's toy though is skinny, but like, I actually dig the robot mode. Sure, the Studio Series one looks better, but this one to me just looks a bit more dynamic. I don't normally like chrome, but I don't mind this. It's a lot of chrome, but it's evenly distributed here, so it looks cool, and the alt mode is just kind of sneezed in one place and doesn't look very good. The arms are supposed to be gorilla arms, but thankfully, he has a wrist swivel, so you can make them normal ass arms. <laughs> God, why is that so hard sometimes for them to do? He is a leader, so by modern standards, sometimes, he is bigger, but for the time, he was very small and light. Because he doesn't have the same bulk or springs as Prime, he weighs a lot less and feels cheaper, quote unquote, in hand compared to Prime, but it's not horrible by any means. Plastic though feels off. It's not as nice feeling as it is today with like Cheetor and Bumblebee, but it's also not as wibbly as some other Age of Extinction toys or Combiner Wars toys of the time. It's somewhere in the uncomfortable middle and it's odd. Weapons are cool. You got the shield with the killer spikes and the mace with the killer spikes that make up a massive chunk of the alt mode, so don't lose these. Also, when you mount the shield, the arm has to be gorillaed, which is really annoying, but you can sort of spin it around, but it just, it doesn't, eh, it's a pain. So the articulation of this guy isn't exactly the greatest. Um, it's so, odd in the way that it works. So first of all, he's always like, if I straighten him out, he's looking down constantly because of the way his head is like tooled. It rotates side to side. This is a softer plastic, so don't poke your eye out. The shoulders are on really nice ratchets. Uh, these can move up and down to accommodate sort of like higher rotation of arms. If you want, you got outward movement. Now it goes out that far and then it stops right here and then clicks. So you can sort of cheat the middle a little bit, but like it wants to go out. And it's really, I don't know why they did that. It's really strange. He has a bicep swivel. Ratcheted elbows. You got a wrist hinge here along with wrist swivel. Nothing at the waist because this whole thing pulls out. Uh, you got hips that go forward and back. The coattails can move out of the way. To accommodate, I love how they, I forgot to put this in the script, but I love how they put the actual like coattails he had in T-Pose. Not a very nice ratchet going in and out. Don't like that. You get thigh rotation, a knee bend that bends all the way. Again, like these are all really nice ratchets to move except for this one. It just doesn't feel great. And then the ankles. They can swivel and then they go forward and back at an angle. So you can kind of get an ankle pivot, but it starts to move down. You could untab it if you want to like cheat a pivot there, but there's no dedicated ankle pivot and then his toes move. So he's not the most poseable thing in the world. 
Um, like it's just the weird feet and the arms really uh, limit what sort of positions you can get him. They really limit the positions you can get him in because he just constantly wants to fall over. It's very annoying. But I love moving like, especially the knees. Those are like the best ratchets to move forward and back. They feel great and they, they sound great. It's just, at least he has that going for him because Leader Prime had some really weird and icky feeling ratchets. So Grimlock kind of won the ratchet lottery there. Transformation is not fun. Like old Age of Extinction transformations just weren't great at all. Let's just experience this. Oh, okay, transformation time. Not fun. Um, the instructions are a pain in the ass, not just because they're backwards, but because you can read it back to front, right? Like you can obviously, but there are parts where it's like, what are you doing? I can't see because this picture sucks. So we'll start with the arms. Just wanna like fold out the hands like so. Why is it there's like a big shadow being cast? There, that's better. Well, look, hello. You can kind of see me in the chrome there. Um, bring these out, unpeg these sections and bring them down. It's it's not a, like a horrible, horrible transformation. It's just not enjoyable to do all the time. Like there are certain steps that are fun to do, like the head part right here. I enjoy doing this. This part's cool, right? The way that it works to sort of accomplish the double head on the shoulders because he had two technically full-size heads on his shoulders in the film. So that's pretty cool, right? I like that, I like this part here, getting all these up, getting the shoulders unclipped and bringing them forward. Like this part is a little stiff, but you know, it's great. And then you get to the lower half. <clears throat> yeah. And this is where the pain comes in. I'm already getting tired. So you fold up the toes. Right, you get those out of the way. The chrome is playing hell on the autofocus. Then you want to split the feet, split the legs open like that, and then rotate them in. You bring the head down. Then you just sort of bring this around. Now it's the feet orientation that always gets me. You gotta have it like rotated correctly and be in the right spot. There we go so that it all pegs together. Eh. Peg. I don't like this part either because these two tabs right here on the side of the neck don't actually line up properly with the leg parts. So you gotta force it in there and it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great at all actually. So you bring that around and over, peg it, there we go. And you sort of just like close up the whole leg section there around his noggin. Sort of collapse his head in. Something feels off. There we go. There we go, okay, so now we have the front half of the dinosaur out of focus. Boom. Just get the head situated properly. Rotate the legs down and around, like so. And then there he goes. So the rest of the stuff. So the ax, mace thing just sort of comes around and then this just sort of clips into the shield, clips in, clips into the, you gotta plug it into the right spot first. That's not the right spot. Then you just sort of plug it in and boom. Stand up, T-Rex, long T-Rex. Man looking like a fucking wiener dog missing its leg. What, they did my boy dirty like this. Why he looking like a hot dog? <laughs> Why is he so long? His tail's too short. He has no counterbalance when put in a proper T-Rex posture, so he just falls. If you stand him up higher, he stays, but yeah, nah, that, that, that's not right. I like the dino head and the massive level of detail all over this guy, but like, none of that matters when you can't do anything as the dinosaur. The whole toy fails at two of its three functions. Successful robot, but unfun transformation and weird ass looking alt mode make me not like it. I'm keeping it because it's going on the leader class shelf, but he gets a spot next to Dragon's Storm. 
I will say the beast mode is better than dragon storms because it's not trying to die all the time, but it still looks whack. I got this for 40 sealed, like 40 Canadian sealed. And that's a very good price for this thing. And if you can find it for that or cheaper, I highly recommend it. Anything else, it might just be too much unless it's one of those exclusive versions. I do want to get the two pack leader class thing with prime and grimlock because I like those two decos. That's, I would keep it sealed, but like I want that pack one day. But that's my look at Age of Extinction Leader Class Grimlock. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.